<coughs> Why do I keep on copying whenever I get back? Hello everyone, this is Omega 8 reporting and today we're gonna be playing N plus plus. Which I don't know how big N plus plus is, but it was definitely known among the uh it was definitely one of the earlier indie games and one of the bigger indie games in the 2000s at that. <laughs> yeah, basically I saw someone, I saw uh I saw an old YouTuber play N++ and he would it, it looked pretty hard and I thought, "Oh, I can totally do better than him." Not to say that he did a bad job because this game is legitimately hard. Like, like there's all these mines and like, and uh, obstacles and rope drones trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. It's just I, I don't, I, I wanted to play this game for the longest time, but it was only available on Xbox Live. I, yeah, I think. Unlike the new grounds version, only had a few levels. So let's shoot. I want to talk a bit more about like my uh my past quote unquote experience with the game, with how like I don't know all that. I guess the only other thing that I can say is that this game was released before Super Meat Boy, which. In my opinion, was the game that really catapulted uh, indie gaming into the mainstream. I I know I guess there's also uh, what was it Scott Pilgrim, but that's not but like that's gets kind of indie, but also Ubisoft was a publisher, or was it Warner Brothers? Anyways. Uh, let's see controls. Yes, I'm using a controller. Move, jump, retry. Left trigger to mood. Let's jump into the only side of the each episode of nine. I only have 90 seconds, huh? And yeah, let's see. Control, Being a ninja is controlling your momentum. Ninjas accelerate more quickly on ground. That. Oh, I see. Oracle mo moment accumulates. While drawing increase. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you also die if you fall too far. <coughs> Yeah, I, I remember this game, so... Yeah, it's pretty simple, and then it gets kind of... Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Incredibly easy. Yeah, look at me doing... I don't know if you can see it, but I'm doing a cool little pose. Uh, but also... Hold on, can I... No, 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 no. Wait, uh, standard A, A type, X type, sure. Ooh, nice, I can even do different themes. Oh, if only I knew this earlier so I can have a better thumbnail. This looks like torture on my eyes. I'm gonna go with dark mode. Yeah, there's classic and then this and I want, Right, I'm not gonna do light mode, but sure. Okay, hold on. I wanna. No, 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 no. No. I, I wanna. No, I wanna go back and change some settings. Uh. No. Uh, uh, oh man, it's so pink. <laughs> And I, I'm barely visible. I'm just a white little speck. Let me turn that down a little bit. Just because. Yeah, let me do it in order, actually. Uh, this and that. Controls. Is it? A, okay. Up, down, left, right, retry. Okay, so there is no run button. That's all I needed to know. Yeah, yeah, go. Uh, do I have to start all over, all over from scratch? Yeah, okay. 
Well, I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see. What the heck? Oh, I think right left trigger is the suicide button, is it not? Like I forgot that there's a suicide button in this game in case if you if you get mad. Like, hold on, isn't no. Right trigger, left trigger to do mood, but I guess they remove suicide in this game. I don't know. I don't know. Just give me, just give me the stuff. I I jump too far. There's nothing to kill me here, and I cannot. I'm having trouble with this level. There we are. That's how I do it. It gets a, t a little getting. It takes a little guessing. Yeah. It takes a little getting used to with the with the momentum in this. Also gotta remember that I uh, turn away faster if I. Let's see, momentum is a lot. Momentum doesn't affect you as much and ow. You suck, but that's, oh, excuse me. Sorry that I died in one of the first levels in the game. Yeah, yeah. you turn around faster and uh, on the ground as opposed to midair. Okay, I think I played the, uh, yeah, I played the DSi version of this. I think that was, I thought that was like really hard, but also I think that was, it was not as good. I don't know. Woo! I, I thought that was dead. Oh, wait, how do I, how do I, yeah, it's, this game is also pretty brutal. You explode into a million pieces and th those pieces explode all over the place. How do I, how do I get up here? Not like that. Uh, wait, what? Ah, uh, okay. I just had to be patient. <laughs> jump. I think that's how you jump. Okay. I can't, so I've underestimated how far you've, how far they uh, go up. Hi, DS6106. Thank you for helping me with Diablo on the other day. And hello, James. So nostalgia, I can remember perfectly. Yeah. Beach, yes, nostalgia featuring hot pink. Don't worry, I'll change it. I'll change it later. The funny thing, do and see the funny ragdoll. No, that's exactly, that's, I'm pretty sure a lot of people did that, to be honest. Because like, you blow, you blow up and your pieces just scatter everywhere. I thought that was absolutely hilarious when I was, when I first saw it on a YouTube video as a kid. I saw someone do have trouble on master control. That's the one. That's the one level I remember. But other than that, I I forgot that there's fall damage. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Careful. Careful. Oh. Yeah. I, I. You're probably very disappointed that I'm not like speed running through this, but this is my first time. This is the first time I played. Uh, an end game and uh, in like 10 years oh, whatever I uh, please don't take that please don't take that sentence out of context <laughs> uh, yeah whoa okay yeah it's like you it takes a while before you get to peak uh, get to get to the apex apex of your jump. Uh, nope. Double jumping of a sort. Mm, nope. Oh, come on! All right. Well, we might have. There we are. I was like, oh, this might be the first of the hard levels. I mean, guess it is because, like, uh, had to be think a bit more, uh, be a bit more precise about it. Okay, La landing too hard on springs doesn't kill you. Good. So, how's everyone? 
the music's pretty grooving. Definitely has an indie vibe. And there's also some uh, electrical thingies down there. I, I missed the switch. I messed up my movements. Oh! I forgot that you can also smash your head on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not the ceiling. Oh. <gasps> it's not the ceiling itself that's deadly. All right, let's 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 get to let's get some blue. Gun Durios, a cat. Ooh, a Cadbury. Did you get a Cadbury off of my recommendation? Because I was like, uh, because like, I remember, I think it was during Doom 3 in which I was like, uh, Hershey shucks because it's just a bunch of cheap shower, shower chocolate. And like that, and like every other chocolate is better than Hershey's. Even like the other cheap chocolates like Snickers. Uh, the googly eye pool. Yeah, those googly uh, those googly eyes will electrocute you. By the way, and yeah. Anyways, a uh, cat. I was like, I get a Cadbury or something. I ne I can ne I don't know if it's just me, but I can never find a Cadbury in grocery stores or supermarkets. Although I did find one in a vending machine at my workplace. I got one, and it was very sweet because it was chocolate and caramel, which is like double the double the sugary thickness uh ow oops physics yeah this game was a pretty solid parkour for its time yes a 2d solid parkour game too which i don't see i don't remember seeing a lot of here we are i can land on slopes just fine but solid ground no it's like i it's like diving headfirst into concrete I just got killed by a Mogus. Uh, uh, yeah, how was the... Ca oh, actually, you probably haven't eaten your Cadbury chocolate yet. But yeah, my first Cadbury was a uh, chocolate and caramel, which, like as I've said, is incredibly sweet and really stupidly rich in the sweet factor. But it was good. It was definitely some good chocolate and caramel. Had a nice, uh, nice solid texture and and uh, just good flavor. Didn't taste cheap at all. Ouch! Got a Carm Carmelo. So is it the oh, gooey and rich? I scarfed just now. What's a Carmelo? Is it? Is it? Oh, I thought I failed. Uh, is it the same as the chocolate? Eh? Is it, is it chocolate with caramel inside of it, or is it like a caramel candy? I don't remember. I don't remember the. I don't remember what uh, the Cadbury caramel, caramel. I don't remember what the Cadbury caramel was called. The one I ate. But yeah. Wait, come on. I just want to show you guys a cool game, and th and th and then now here I am being bad. Wait, no. Uh, can I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, why is retry? Why is also suicide? Hold on. No, 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 no. Chocolate squares with caramel. All right. So the same thing that I ate. Okay. There we are. I'm gonna. All right. Oh man, physics, man. Indeed, it is very gooey. It's like really runny caramel. Well, that's nice. Like I like caramels by themselves. I also like chocolate by itself. But I don't. It's, I don't remember the last time I got ate a chocolate caramel. I don't remember my opinion on it either. Yeah, give me, give me those gold goodies be just because. Only some, but not all. I'm, I'm in a rush here. You, the completionist might be going mad because I'm not collecting all the gold, but I. 
Okay, I'll collect the gold this time. Yeah, talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back and forth. Careful about the mines. Oh, that was really nice. And then into the retro thingy we go. Into the AT and T logo. In the eighties. I should not have gone there yet. Both flavors of ran jumping and the control thereof. Yeah. Yeah. Some like cool guy naming schemes too. To really like yeah, this is like a quintessential indie game we're dealing with here. I'm also interested in what's it called? Big Trip Runner. Who was also featured in what was it called? It was also featured in uh, Super Meat Boy. Although I, will, I have way too many games to deal with, new and old, right to, I have too many games right now. The autumn sale, the autumn steam sale is certainly not helping things. I, uh, no, I wanna, no, no, no. I wanna get all the gold. The all pa powerful golden rainbow of upwards momentum. Oh, uh, it's not perfect, but it's fine. Yeah, with Commander Video. Yep, that one. Yeah, a, lo a lot of classics that I need to, like, catch up on. Oh, oops. Alright, so those are mines. How the hell do I get 100%? Alright, I guess I have to take my time with collecting those gold pieces, but whatever. Yeah, it's like... Like... There are also some classic indie games that like indie games are so prevalent that you forget that there's that there's like an actual origin to indie games like uh like uh like back then freaking it can be said that like every game like most games back then were indie games because like companies were a lot smaller and uh there were a lot more developers pumping out crap be it on console or PC, but especially PC, since since uh, uh because of like different hardware, it had like not as many people develop for it, and it's like stuff it's, it's, like PC games were more of an obscure thing until Doom, Commander Keen, and Wolfenstein came around. But yeah, like if you think about it, like every game back, almost every game back then was an indie game because of how like uh how much smaller they were and like be it the game itself the development studios and all that and even the stuff i guess the style in a sense uh oh rocket toggle room oh i'm dead i just want the go fine i just want the gold all that uh How's it going? Oh. Hold on. Uh, I'll, I'll get to your comment in a bit. Hold on. I'm invincible. Mail order. Mail order self publishing back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> like back when every game was an indie game until like. Until like a. Uh, let's say. Until 3D became a thing in which like a lot more work had to be done developing 3D graphics. Let's also uh, request for a game Shakedown Hawaii, ending game which is a homage to the original GTA is filled with good humor. Oh, so it's like uh, it's so it's sort of like what's it called? So it's sort of like uh, Hotline Miami. Or is it like Hotline Miami, but with driving? Yeah, Shakedown Hawaii. I'll, I have not heard of it, but I'll definitely take a look at it. Retro City Rampage. I think I've heard of that. Which was an NES prototype built into a game. Uh, I see. Well, uh, I've, I've been... Oh my gosh. I have been interesting. 
I've been uh, thinking of playing a more. I've been in a rather indie mood lately, so yeah, keep keep up the keep up the suggestions. I don't know if I'll get them. I don't know if I'll play them on stream, but like, if if uh, if I'm hearing about it by word of mouth, then it's probably really good. Midtown Manus, yep. Uh, what, what, I, uh, what, what was that? Wait, what? Okay, these are boosts, I see. <laughs> okay, you can, they can be used more than once, good to know. Can I, ah, uh, I can't get that, but can I? I want the gold, I'm greedy! Come on. All right, fine, 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 fine. Uh, I'll figure that out later. But I also wanna. I can uh, I can tweet about this and I can tweet about my favorite level here. Oh, this game is so cool, guys! It's so it's so much. Wait, what? I didn't re I didn't realize I switched to a new theme. Okay. <laughs> like, oh my god, this there are so many ninjas and explosions and mines everywhere. It's so it's so colorful too. It look it looks so simple, but so artsy. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Like, oh my god, that's so fetch. This missile. It looks like my ex. Okay, I'll I'll start with the Valley Girl. I I don't know. I actually don't know why I decided to do Valley Girl. It's just it's just for the moment is a very de a deadlier thing than a mini missile. So far, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of levels too. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna start the N plus plus levels. The, the levels that I actually saw. It's like there are the classic levels and then there's like uh, these, hu this huge batch of levels that are a lot. <laughs> yeah, yes, like I have not watched Mean Girls, but I am, uh, I'm pretty sure most people, a lot of people haven't watched Mean Girls, but they are very well aware of like the friggin' Mean Girls accent. Because it's like, like people, people unironically do talk like that. Like, oh my god, have you seen some of the, have you seen the latest Jonas Brothers concert lately? Ah oh, yes, Queen. Meanwhile, my stupid brother has been staying at home playing video games all, all day. What a loser. Oh, I, okay, I keep on forgetting that, no, uh, I keep forgetting that the regular open circles are fine. No, 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 hold on. Uh, all right, all right, fine. I thought, I thought these things were circles, not squares, the things that the sentry like things. Nerva. <laughs> Nirvana is so old school, like, oh my god. You think that they get over the. You think that they get over it, like. You think they get over that state of mind by the age of 15. Ugh, I'm, I'm trying to get all the gold. And I'm doing a pretty bad job. Uh, okay, and uh, oh, what? I I can I barely touch you, and then physics screws me over. Uh, apparently, this gold is time. Gold is time. Although I think I get what they're getting at. 
time is gold. Quite literally, literally in this sense. <laughs> I should not be. This is. This should not be this hard. What's going on? Like my my challenge. The challenge right now is to. I know what to do. Go around the other way to get the gold. Yes. Now, I am not risk. I am not going in that tiny little corridor. Not with that thing on the other side. Oh shoot! Well, uh, <laughs> honestly, this would be a bit. I, I was thinking that this this uh, this dream would be a bit more boring if I didn't try to collect every single pit, bit of gold. It's like, yeah, it, like this is really. If I didn't go, if I didn't do the completionist route, this uh, yeah, I just beat the level like that, like easy. But no, I I want a bit more of a challenge. Something a bit more stimulating, even if it's a bit longer and not entirely necessary. I don't know. At the very least, I get some flex points. With my non-existent friends. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay, but that... <laughs> Alright, that thing was on my tail for... Uh, who knows how long? No. No, oops. Ugh. No, 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 no. Gosh darn it. Hold on. Gold. No, fuck it. Yeah, now things are getting more interesting because I'm trying to get everything. Like trying to get every strawberry in Celeste. By the way, I am I am planning on playing Celeste at some point. Just you wait. I'm very- oh my gosh, physics. I am very much interested in Celeste because of... It's platforming gameplay. Uh, in which I am a big fan of platformers. I don't know why I said in which, but... Hmm. How do I... How do I... How do I... Tap and not, yeah, I can. I'm gonna miss if I just tap the jump button. That's, I'm gonna still miss a few gold pieces, anyways. So, oh, actually, I think I, I have an idea. No, that's not my idea. Okay, fine. I'll test. I'll test. I'll do a bit of testing in the meantime instead of. Let's see. Uh, stupid ninja, why can't you jump? Alright, do that. Do a bit of this. Uh, uh, no, uh, I, I shouldn't have checked it now, but fine. I. Uh, how the hell do I get 100% in this? Like, it shouldn't be that hard, but... Okay, I'm... Honestly very confused on how to get all the gold. What? I guess I, I guess wall jumping is not the solution. I guess I have to like, what? No. Hold on. Ah, <gasps> ah. Uh, I don't have enough momentum, but. Hmm. Any video game character heard how you were raging at their stupid moves? How dead do you think they will be? Uh. Uh. There's a. There's a. Re Let's just say that there's a reason why I'm raging at them. So, I probably won't be very dead. Cause they won't be. They won't be. They're just as unskilled as I am. 
and games. Like Ninja Gaiden, Simon Belmont can't can change mid can't change direction midair. Well, what are you gonna do? Jump at me? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna abuse the same uh same cheap bullshit that was in your games. Which includes knockback. Oh, fine, fine, fine. I'll just do this regularly. This is honestly getting really annoying. I have no idea how to do this. I can't believe that I survived that, but I fine. Let's go. Video games, though. No autonomy outside the player. So where's it? Yeah, that too. I can just like, oh hey, what you think? You think you're in control and just and just bring up the can just. Oops, <laughs> just brings up controller. So-called free thinkers. I am the controller. Simon Belmont's free weakness, pelting him with rocks on the roof. I do not remember that in any Castlevania game, but... Well, I might give that a try. Yeah! Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, well, that was an epic fail. Just, just tripped on the corner. <laughs> uh. Alright, uh... Let's... There we are. Better. Uh... Oh, boy. And yeah, these N++ levels get kind of crazy. Disto oh, oops. Delay distortion. Uh. Mm. Oh! <laughs> I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I, oh boy. Listen. Just kind of really tiny platforms. Ah! <laughs> cool pose. All right, what's C type? I I am pink ish. What's that? Oh, okay. So that's my like my deadly clone. That's the guy. That's what I. That's the guy that I saw in the. Demo in the title screen. The rocket was going for my wallet. <gasps> oh no, it's Gaben! No, I already spent my life savings on today tonight's off sale. It's not even the winter sale yet. Thanks and have fun. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I want to change back to B type. Ooh, I see. It seems that, yeah. Completing certain areas unlocks a bunch of, ooh, a bunch of new themes. That's actually pretty cool. Like, this is definitely a game that I'd like to see more of because it's like, it's a mix of unique platforming and rage. Just, all right, well, speaking of rage, I missed one gold piece. I can't believe I missed it. Wait, uh, fine. It was a joke about, it was a joke about not being able to turn and him not reaching you. Oh, <laughs> uh, I get the joke <laughs> because uh, Valve is because DF2 reference and oh yeah, Gabe is also uh, Notor. I don't, I don't. I guess notoriously, uh, what you call it? He's notoriously, uh, I wouldn't say shy, but he doesn't appear a whole a lot in the public. Oh, physics comes again. Oh my gosh, it's full of stars. Look at all this candy in the sky. 
It's like a wall of powdered sugar. On the topic of powdered sugar, I had some, uh, uh, I bought some, I got some really tasty, uh, what are they called? Almond butter cookies at Costco. The brand is Dave's. They're like surprisingly, it's like they're crispy, but also they also melt in your mouth. It's those kinds of cookies. They are incredibly good. If you have the chance, if you're if you're not weight conscious, and if you're uh, if you have the chance, if you if you have the chance, uh, try finding uh, try see if you can get a tin of Dave's cookies. Very good stuff. Yeah, land perfectly on the slope. Just wait until I... Yeah, let's open that. Just wait until I eventually break my knees. Inevitably break my knees. Oh, all right, I thought that was... I thought that was the time. I thought that was it. Uh-oh. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. In the world do I... How do I get the stars up there? Ooh. Yeah, like it I I think this game also takes uh takes angles into account. So like if you if you slam too hard at an angle, if you slam directly into a slope like a kind of like I almost demonstrated like an idiot. Oh fuck it, this is taking too long. I don't I'm just gonna leave. Like if you let me demonstrate. If you No. No no no. Do I have do I have a mouse? Yeah, here we are. Like if you slam if you slam like this, you're you're less likely to die. But if you slam like this, uh then it's gonna be the same as slamming into the ground, straight into flat ground like this. And you that's uh that's death. Imagine you respawn, and he's suddenly in a wheelchair. This is a... Wait, isn't that a... Isn't that sort of a thing in a video... In a video game or two? Like, you you, you start a level, and all of a sudden you move... You have restricted movement for some reason. Wait, what's this? Ooh. Oh, I thought I died. But uh, that was... Alright, I did a cool thing, but only to fail. Fuck! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on! Get all- <sighs> I'm going to die. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Oh boy, how do I do this? And there we are. Too soon. Okay, I Don't go up too fast. But also, really slow down over there. I would. I'm very tempted to use the booster, but up. Oh. Okay, so that's how that works. That's how I could, uh. Maybe. Oh, fuck. That's a little shortcut that I can do with the boosters. That's cool. Very cool. Let me do it again and see if I can get it, get some gamer points by doing that. Ah, <laughs> no. I can I can at least do it there. And uh, don't go. Uh, that might be too high. Damn it. Shh. What? How? Oh, fine. Uh, no. That's also too high. I think I I need to like like no. Let go of the, let go of the height button after, oh, after I jump. Also, yeah, I tried, I tried going in between the mines. You can't do that. I mean, I didn't try doing that there, but like, trust me, it's impossible. Your hitbox is a lot bigger than the game implies. Oh, fuck. Fine. Fine, I'll do- I'll go the underway. 
No, no, no. One more try. One more try. One more try. That year is 1990X. Alright, nice. Fine, I'll stop shattering my my elbow across the corner. I was just like I was a, a pixel to Okay, I, I I don't know. I was like a pixel to to uh to uh too deep, too shallow from the corner. I want all the gold, damn it! Hold back there. And then... Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. I didn't want to, like, slam into the ground. and I want to slam into the slope, not the ground. Uh... Finally, perseverance. Congratulations, you suck. Uh, running a triple A title. At, what's that triple A title that you're playing? If it's uh, is it? If it's what's it called? If it's Rocket League, I don't know if that's triple A, but uh, Rocket League is very optimized and can run on pretty much anything, despite even though it looks. Actually, really good. Uh, ocean spray is the name of the level. I don't know what how this resembles ocean spray, but <gasps> okay. I'm gonna drink some ocean spray. Ocean spray, cranberry juice. That was like a modern Simpsons thing, by the way. Uh, like Homer pulling things out of his fridge and just randomly calling out brand names. And Marge was like, Homer, stop, stop calling things by their brand name. And, and Homer just kept on doing it anyways, just because. <gasps> Okay, uh, I gotta go, 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 gotta go! Nice. Those aren't cranberries, those are bombs. That is a, that, I don't know if that's a commercial or a reference that I don't get, but okay. DMC, oh, Devil May Cry 5, was on, which runs on the same engine as the RE remakes, I see. I did it! <sighs> Uh, no, no, I want to I want a good time on this uh, Let's see any yeah, it's just it's just don't don't fall too hard Hmm. Yeah, I watched like I watched a lot of Simpsons, but it was mostly like modern Simpsons and I only remember very very few snippets of like random funny moments from here and there in both old and modern Simpsons. Yeah, people people don't people don't realize either people don't realize it, admit it or say it out loud, but Simpsons SpongeBob was the Simpsons of the 2000s. Both both of them were being very culturally influential and uh Washed by people of all ages. Washed and enjoyed by people of all ages. Oh. Shit, this is, uh... We're in a bit of a pickle. Never mind. <laughs> Both had yellow characters, too. Right, no, I want, I want the... I want the gold stuff up there. Urgh. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait. Okay, apparently the... I didn't know that the RE engine was well optimized. I mean, I guess it has to be, be otherwise that, uh... You're not gonna be having a really good experience, even on console. 
the Mad Cartoon reboot, which was just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, Mad Cartoon reboot? Wait, what? What do you mean reboot? Yeah, I saw... I remember Mad. I actually saw a little bit of Mad. Uh back when it first came out but then like i didn't really i didn't see it again after a month or so like mad it's mad funny and yeah it literally is just robot chicken without the gore Ooh! it was okay i thought that was i i thought that personally i thought it was kind of stupid and not as not really that funny but yeah to each their own I do wonder how the heck com how the heck uh, companies and such get, get get brand endorsement or like get to show off brands these days. I know anime just uses uh, like just changes one letter in the in the brand name. Like McDonald's becomes Wickdonald's, the fabled Wickdonald's, where every where every weeaboo wishes to work at. Uh, what? How that? What? How do I? How do I get there? Uh. <sighs> Fine. I'll just do this normally. Oh yeah. Man, well, then again, Man was released during the dec the big decline of Cartoon Network, in which they imported cartoons from Canada, and they also like uh, uh, they also had like an entire year which was filled with real reality stuff, like like who was it? That Andrew guy, who's actually a really cool guy IRL, but like he does not like he was also in the age of like. When cartoons were not Cartoon Network was not Cartoon Network for some weird reason because money and the new CAO is st stupid about it and we also got Car Teen Titans Go. It was also when we got Teen Titans Go, which was a very, I mean, it's it's a very it's aggressively for kids. Like I like people agree that it's not exactly bad, but it's, like it's for a very specific audience. That is for children. Although I think, although the weird thing is that they also include a bunch of referential humor, which is more for like the older audience and older fans of Teen Titans. Like they straight up show snippets of the original Teen Titans cartoon, which was fucking. Mwah! Mwah, bliss, greatness. And then like, and then like the, and then the Teen Titans Go characters, uh, poke, f poke fun of the creators of Teen Titans Go. They're like, oh, I wish we were as good as that cartoon. But like, but like the cart, the P the main audience of Teen Titans Go has never even heard of the original Teen Titans. So it's like, it's like, wait, why? Is this your attempt at trying to, like, get older people to, to tune into your very immature show? Like, okay. Red X was in a cartoon, one episode, and the original cartoon, yeah, like, was. I know he was in Teen Titans, Teen Titans, the original one. I don't know how Teen Titans go, but I don't care. I can't remember anything about Teen Titans besides Deathstroke slash Slade. I know that Deathstroke was named Slade because like they didn't want because they also they wanted to make his name more kid friendly because like they thought that Deathstroke was too hardcore. Even if it is a really cool name. I'm trying to get the gold. I'm failing miserably. Oh. I'm trying to I'm trying to make use of physics, but I'm I can't. Uh oh. No. <laughs> like, I, I can say a lot about uh, Teen Titans, the original one, but that I would also be spoiling stuff in the process. So I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Watch it if you, 
I might not be as good as an adult, but like as a kid, it was holy shit. Actually, no, even as an adult, even as like a teen or young adult, it's it's great. It's with surprisingly good humor and action. And yeah, Red X, like I I don't remember if I don't I don't follow cartoon cards. I don't follow superhero cartoons and comics, but like I don't remember seeing I don't know if Red X was in any other thing that isn't the original Teen Titans. What? How did I? Okay. I somehow died from that. But like, Red X had... Red X. For those who... I know that I'm spoiling some of the magic, but... But then again, uh... uh I guess it's fine because it's is like a... This is like over 17 the cartoons over like 17 years old but anyways for the uninitiated red x was this mystique there was an episode in teen titans in which robin goes to the future and he is and uh one of the people the person that helps him out is red x who is this like really mysterious figure and like who and like no one knows who he is is he like robin from the future is he some other person who like who like, is he like the newest, a completely differently person that like led Teen Titans before they got, all got wiped out? It was like, it was actually a really cool concept, but like they didn't do anything about it. Not in the cartoon and to my knowledge, not, nothing in the comics either. And like there was like, I imagine that there was also a ton of theory crafting with Red X too. But there was also, at the same time, there was very little to go off of. So it's like... <laughs> it's like... Uh, like, Teen Titans even had, like... Like, more continuations, but, like... Then it was cancelled after the last episode in which that one Stone Girl comes back. As a regular human being. Okay, maybe I... I all right, that's I'm not that was that was actually kind of a big spoil, but on the other hand, that's not real. I think that's not really saying much without context. <laughs> Oops, sorry that I spoil. Sorry that I spoiled like Infinity War. Robin dies in Infinity War. Uh, Washington's go. I saw Robin's guy cell has a villain named Red X. Oh, okay, and then. Well, that's just a cameo, not like any lore. It's just like, hey, hee hee, funny, funny, X, X, D, X. Oops. Uh, gotcha. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone who saw the cartoon was, like, scratching their heads off when they saw... When they saw Red X. When they saw the Red X cartoon. Like, Robin was just randomly teleported to the future, and then... And then Red X is, like, this, like, mysterious hero, yet also an anti-hero, and, like... It's like... He's also really badass. And, like... They didn't do anything about it. Also, speaking of Teen Titans, I'm gonna... Alright, I know that... I, I don't know how many of you watched the original Teen Titans, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways because... It's good. A lot of people, and a lot of people have watched it, so I guess if... For the VOD watchers, hi! Wait, oh! Okay, I didn't press the button. Uh, uh, I know this one guy in a Discord server that I used to go to, who, uh... <laughs> Who every now and then would bring up Cyborg's design. Actually, uh, I'm gonna continue that thought later. I mean, I need to use the bathroom. Be right back.
Give me a few moments. I'm gonna. I'm still trying to. Just give me a few moments so I can set up my little. My little. Uh, what do I call it? Ugh, I can't go. I don't want to go into intermission now. Hold on. Wait. Hey, 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 here, here. Let's have this in the background. Okay, you're. We're not gonna have that in the background. All right, fine. Have. If, it, if, it'll, if it'll stay, yes, there we are. Some groovy music going on. Perfect! Okay. So, let's get back to what I was getting at. Back then, or, and uh, no, not back then, but relatively recently in a use in a discord server that i frequented uh there was this one guy who would bring up cyborg's design every now and then and i'm talking about yes i'm talking about cyborg from dc comics uh so uh he brought him he brought him up every now and then to bring up his design and uh the one big th the one major thing that he was always peeved about was the red dot on his forehead and most of his designs so here here's the here's cyborg i mean not a red dot but like here's cyborg and dcu he, he has a he has a metal body some metal bits and pieces all over and uh he, ha he has a he has a dot on his forehead. And like my and this guy would always and like whenever he brought up the dot, he would always like be extremely peeved about it. Like he was always go, no, it doesn't look good. Just get rid of the fucking dot. He, he, and here's here's what Cyborg mostly looks like nowadays. Like a lot of machine. I, I mean, I, I don't 
follow. I don't really read comics. Let's. I don't really read comics, so I don't know if uh, I can only take his word for it. But this is apparently what he looks like nowadays. And uh, oh look, he has a red dot on his forehead, and it. And according to that guy, it looks really ugly and out of place. And yeah, I do where he's getting at, but like it's. Yeah, it actually kind. Kind of duh. I I don't really care as much, but I do I do understand where he's getting at. And then we get to the Teen Titans design of Cyborg. There he is. Nice blue blue parts with cir blue circuitry, which actually looks really nice. Uh, his uh, his other Cybernetics don't stand out so, so awkwardly, and he doesn't have a a purple. He doesn't have a forehead dot no forehead dot every time that my friend brought cyborg up he would always meant he would always bring up the forehead dot and how absolutely atrocious it looked I mean, I, I don't know if it's, I can't say if it's that bad, but I do agree that the Teen Titans design was, is by far the best rendition of Cyborg that we've ever had. Design and personality wise. Uh, yeah, I don't, re I haven't really seen much of Cyborg in action outside of Teen Titans, but I do agree that he is awesome. And, uh, and uh, he's actually really, really fleshed out and in the cartoon but anyways enough enough about <laughs> enough about uh discord stuff let's uh let's uh can i no let's start that over oh my gosh a 36 stratagems fleeing is the best true but i also want to do a bit of highway robbery Love this music though. Damn it! Ah. Oopsies. Uh, no, 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 no. Gotta go around in a. Gotta go around in, around these circles in a circle and around circles. Imagine if I slam my face against that circle. That'd be ultra realistic, but I would have been very unhappy. Come on. Yeah, I should, maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should have played this game as a VTuber. I don't know. This definitely feels like a. Like I don't, I don't know if you get, well, I don't know if you understand what I'm getting at, but this game definitely feels like a VTuber game. Like it has those vibes that like this is a game that a VTuber would play, like uh, like along the ranks of Jump King and and in a lesser sense Celeste. I mean, this is not exactly a weeb game, but. I am a fool. The lunatic device, more like, more like maximum security. Oh boy, this is incredibly dangerous. But that can also be used to describe me, not just this device. I'm gonna splat. Okay, no splat. Oh! <laughs> uh. What am I doing? I all right, I did the same maneuver, but with little result. All right. There's so many. There's so many gold pieces that I want to pick up, but I fine. Fine, I'll do. I'll do this regularly. Uh, oh, 
Okay, I almost smashed into the corner. What a. Alright, no, no, no. I actually wanna. Can I level V. No. Uh, can I. Like. Play this? Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if getting all the gold in every level gets you a new theme or wallpaper or headband. Ow. I'm gonna I'm gonna try again to see if I can do that. I am as I've said before, I am planning on playing uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond uh, in a relatively soon because I play the Pokemon Gen 4 game that I played were Pearl and Platinum. I did not play Diamond. So I'm looking forward to its exclusives, even though I'm actually not gonna be using any of, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be using any Diamond exclusives, be it uh, the Murkrow line or the Mr. Mime line, if I'm not mistaken. Pseudo Udo's in, Pseudo Udo's exclusive to Pearl and Mr. Mime's mostly in, Mr. Mime in, uh, Diamond, right? Although, actually, uh, can't you encounter? No, you can encounter both Mr. Mime, and the Mr. Mime line, and the Pseudo Wudo line in both games, but like in one game, one game, it, uh, they're more. They're, Mr. Mime is more common. Ow. Mr. Mime is more common in Diamond, while Pseudo Wudo is more common in Pearl. Yeah, it's like not exactly exclusives, but like just better odds and that's trying to make you more likely to trade even though that the internet exists and like it's we're, we're no longer trying we're no longer we're no longer social in person we, we do everything by phone now even didn't even take a pandemic to do do that to like change the social uh, to change the methods of our social sociability. But yeah, I'm the capture card should be coming. I don't there might be delays because you might know why. But I, hopefully I'll be able to stream it next week because I am looking forward to some nostalgia and uh, I'm I'm uh, I also want like a first-hand experience of what uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are like. Like I don't want any biases. Like uh, po it, Pokemon sucks now. No, don't bu you shouldn't buy it anymore. It's all dumbed down and uh, and uh, it, it's nothing. It's actually not really. It, they should. It didn't go above and beyond just like Hard Gold and Soul Silver did. Well, I'll be the judge of that. But from what I've seen so far, it actually looks pretty good. They brought back contests and they added a few nice features, such as the Grand Underground. Ugh. Should I really be getting gold? All the gold here, of all places. Alright, I need to see when would a good when is a good time to jump. Hmm. Shoot, how do I What? How do I jump up there? All right, fine, 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 fine. I'll do. I'll play something else. I'll play something simpler. I will say that the difficulty spikes and 100% completion are insane, to say the least. Like the first level is oh, it's fun. Like the first level can be extremely like utterly impossible to get a hundred percent in but the but the but the the rest of the levels can be just oh it's just it was just as simple as the level that i just played just kind of 
I rather I was expecting more of like a balanced difficulty curve, but I guess this then again this isn't what I call a linear game. I mean you do have to unlock levels, but hmm, that's yeah, it's weird like that. Oh come on! Yay! Oops. Whoopsies. Oops. I. Alright, I need a. I wonder how the heck do I get those? Think of a bobbers. I get. Let me activate the switch first. Fuck! Okay, it's like I need to do some serious gymnastics here to... No. Alright. Huh! Oh, Alright. Yeah, that's, that's a good way, that was a good way to drill physics into my head. Gold! All that glitter is gold! Oh, I see how this level is. Oh, fine. No. <laughs> that was going so well, too. Uh... Alright, well, now I've run out of things to talk about, so I'm gonna be in full some concentration and a concentration mo mood. Not just a mode, but a mood as well. I should not. No, don't, don't get that. Don't get that. Can I get it? No. Fuck, no. I can do this. This definitely seems doable. I just need a... new bit of thinking. Oh! <laughs> I keep on forgetting that this game follows physics. If I go die... If I slam into... Uh, the slope at an angle, then it's gonna be... I slam into it at an angle, and I die because of it. Uh... Gosh! It's- this is the thi this is the one thing that's stopping me from beating this level. This is stupid. Fall damage. Okay, maybe I should like. I have an idea. Oh crap! Crap! Yeah, don't like, don't, don't, don't go around in circles. Just uh, go around in circles at first, but also. Uh, I hit the switch, but also. I. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do it, I can do it. Oh, oh, no. Whatever, let's try again, try again, fine. I'll try again. I'll be going in uh, at least, let's say at least 30 minutes. I'm gonna slam, yeah. I need to go in at least 30 minutes since, I don't know if, I forgot if I said this at the beginning of the stream, but I have uh, a few appointments for this Black Friday. I keep on, I, I forgot to follow my own advice and I, I kept on circling around anyways. Oof, okay. Oh my God. I 
I can sweat. Oh, it's been a, such a it's been a good while since I've uh, No, this is not gonna work. It's been a while since I've since I was a real tryhard at any game. It actually feels kinda good to awaken my gamer senses. To try as hard as I can to beat this. Grr! Last time I last time I wakened my the gamer with enemy was in Sonic 2 when I was trying to collect every chaos emerald. Fuck the pipeline, but I did it, but I didn't get to go supersonic even once. Actually I think I did go supersonic, but uh, I lost no, I don't know if I I don't think I did go supersonic. Shit. Ah! No! Try no! No! Try, try that again! Uh No. It's like a when a game really forces you to concentrate as much as you can as you can to force you to put in a lot of energy of mental energy into it. And oh boy. It's a it's officially a game. I don't know where I was getting at it, but it's like it's like if it's single player, then ooh, that's uh it really does make you feel like a gamer, huh? But then uh, I re I realize that the same can be also said for multiplayer games, and it's like, oh uh, yeah, there, there's a difference between being a gamer and being salty. Trying to like awaken the the instinct within you, the try hard within you. Okay, this is oh this is how the hell do I. tricky because I have to collect everything but also not go in the door. So I thought I could get around that by like just not hitting the switch but I kind of have to hit the switch. Okay. I have a bit of a strategy here. Shit, strategy has already failed! Ah! Circle around, circle around. Prosumer? What the fuck is a prosumer? Is it like resume, but like it resumes something that's already, that hasn't been in motion yet? Is it like you start something as opposed to uh, restart something? Oh, I think I know how to do this. Not. Oh, wait. I instinct. I instinctively grab stuff. But instead of. Uh, no, no, no. Instead of go around in circles, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna drop up and down. Oh! Oh no! I'm so close. Come on! <laughs> Fucking ass! Yeah, if I okay, I, I gotta be careful, but because if I if I yeah, go go circle around at first and then do the thing, yeah, kind of like that. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on, come on! It's like a mix of circling around the level and dropping down vertically. Or maybe I can just keep on circling around. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, I, I don't want to, no. Hmm, getting some, getting a little mechanical here. Why do I keep on triggering the bottom ones? I 
I should just not pick up the time bits at the very bottom. Because that seems to be my downfall as of this point. Uh, case in point. Shit, I was... Uh, kill me. That was not what I was trying to do, but... Oh, whatever. Let me... To something, but it's like I need to try really hard. I'm like, oh no, it's like my the try hard within me is starting to sputter out. Oh, I, I, no, it's, I really, no, I have to, I like have to, I'm like almost forced to grab the bottom time bits because just so I can jump over the door. Oh boy. Shit! And this thing. Oh, I think I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I grabbed the top three rows. I did not mean to open the door. Fuck it. It's like I need to... Ideally, I make a perfect arc around the... Around each and every little... Around the rows. Like, uh, no. Not like that. A bit more like that. Okay. Now... I... I am going to... I am going to absolutely lose it. You don't hear it inside me, but I am in excruciating pain right now. And they ask you if you're real if you're fine, but you're not really fine. And then it's There we are. Kind of getting in the hang of it. But holy shit, this thing, this white, this white circle is going to be, my app is getting more and more annoying as I try to complete this. I'm just trying to be a little, nice little completionist. Is that too much to ask? But no, it is too much to ask because as I can't do, I'm not good at this. I'm not good. I'm washed up. Freaking. Uh. Okay, well, there's a problem now. How do I... Alright, it's impossible for me to hit the switch now. No, it's it's very possible. I... Ah! If only, I should have... I, sh I pressed... I thought that I would... I, I didn't press right... I didn't press left long enough. If I pressed left right away, I would have gotten it. But no, I had to hesitate a little bit and like think, oh, babe, I mean, I can totally make it. I'm gonna be a little lazy about it instead. But, <sighs> I just need to jump up and down. Hi, Meta MetaNet software, I'm, you can hear me. I'm, I can, I know I can just progress regularly, but, uh, Fair warning, I'm a bit of a completionist, and I... I'm pretty sure that I can do this, but... Mmm! It makes me angry! Wait. Meta I... 
Um. Uh, this is. Th you're the developer of the game. Um. Uh, th thank you. Thank you for tuning in, MetaNet Software. Um. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, when you put when you put in that smile, it clicked. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Well, so we, we design a goal that's sort of optional. I know it's fun to go for it, but it's also fun to skip the really crazy stuff and lean on. So yeah, yeah. I was I, I was thinking of doing that too, but yeah, it's um. Uh. Thank you. Uh. Thank you for tuning into this just random nobody. Like, uh... Ah, oh, you know what? I'll just leave for later. Uh, right as you say you got this, I decide to give up and just, uh... Just, you know, save that for later. Maybe I'll beat it on my own time. Uh, but yeah, I was- I was ta I talked about, like, how I- how I saw YouTube videos of M++ way back in like the old days of YouTube, back in, uh, back in like 2007 or 8-ish. Like, uh, like there was a YouTube, there was a YouTuber that was playing on, X that was playing this game on Xbox Live. And like, that's, that's how I first heard of this game. Also, I, I I'm uh, I realized that I. All right, well, I realized I could have just restarted the level normally and beat it, and instead of starting all over, but whatever, it's it's fine. And like I thought, I was like, oh wow, this game looks really hard, but really cool. I think I can totally, I can totally beat this game. I can I I think I, I think I'm better than this this guy, but uh, it turns out I'm not better than this guy. <laughs> A lesson in humility. Uh, but yeah, and, and then, like, a couple of years later, I, over a decade later, I can finally buy this game for myself on PC, because the only, and I, I don't have an Xbox, but that's fine. The only, the only, the only consoles that I've ever owned are Nintendo ones. I've owned a, a Game Boy Advance SP, a DS Lite, actually I've owned two DS Lites, but the hint just keep, kept on breaking. And then a DSi XL, a 3DS XL, and a Switch. Yeah, whew. Well, let's let's just move on. Yeah, I was like, hmm. This game looks cool. And, like, I can platform and collect stuff. No. I wanna... And yeah, come on, can I... There we are. It's like RNG, whether you get all six. Oh, I see how I get that last one. I read the rest of the tile until then. I'll read the rest of the tile until I was like, "Ow." Yeah. Anyways, this is a great. This is a good game. Great game. Well, the first indie games around, and it's it's no wonder why there's there's still a following to this day. Well, actually, M plus on XL XBL is way easier than M plus. Oh. This is a sequel to M Plus, and we made it for. Oh, no wonder none of the levels looked familiar. I see. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I I ended up skipping the intro portion of the game. So, uh, go. Yeah, I ended up skipping the intro section of this game, and I was like, oh, this looks, this is kind of easy, and I want to, like, I want to get into the stuff that I remember, but I ended up remembering it wrong. N Plus was on Xbox Live, and, uh, X Plus Plus is the modern equivalent, or the modern version. Whoopsies. Okay, no, 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 I, I can't, I can't jump that high, come on, let's... I'm like looking at chat as well. The total numbers are over on the first legacy section. Ah, legacy selection. So that's where I need to go. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, developer, for uh, 
for dropping by and giving me some info about the game. Oh boy. The intro is easy, how does she she needs you now for a layer of answer? Yeah. Are you unlocking a new headband for being here? Uh, well, speaking of headband, I all of a sudden have a headband right now. Okay, well... Uh, I'll definitely give you a shout out later on on the social media. A big huge thanks for stopping by. Huge thanks to Metasauce for, for stopping by at my at this random no way stream at my stream. I know. Let's not let's not get let's not go too hard into the self depreciating humor. Uh, ooh. Oh, uh, I see why you do. Uh, run. I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they're just gonna catch up with me. Okay, this is a challenge and a half. I wonder, can I? I wanna. I wanna see if I can do. S I can rush that. Nope. I, all right, I think I can rush it. Got a to do this. I wonder. I wonder if this is a valid strategy. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. If I if I can if I, I can be a little bit faster, I can maybe beat this. No. Got some great music too. I really vibe with this music. Um, uh, that kind of sounded like I was being sarcastic, but no, this is actually for some really, some really groovy tunes. I actually, like, I wasn't expecting to really dig this, but well, <laughs> a few soundtrack, a soundtrack later, and I'm bobbing my head. Do 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 do. Oh wait, I have another so solution. Oh, oh hurry! Oh, you stupid! <laughs> you t I, I only myself to blame for that. For being a slowpoke. Wait, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Make a wide jump and then jump here and then do this. Ooh boy! Skipping gold is definitely a pro strap for evil ninja. Oh, they... Yeah, we're happy how this soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder how. I've always wondered how musicians felt when they. <laughs> Oops. I always wonder how musicians felt after like they finish a music piece. Like, like it takes. Like it's certainly not easy, and it takes time. Whether it's like digital or a band or what have you. You gotta practice and like the music has to click with you. Oh no, I thought I could be fast enough. It's like and you like you listen to it so many times that you're like, I wonder how many people have gotten like sick. Actually I do I do know a few artists that have got like listened to a, uh, a music, a piece of their own music so much that they gotten sick of it. Like I if I'm not mistaken, Kurt Cobain was in a a fairly similar position. May he rest in peace. But yeah, but well, if you're saying that you're happy, well, I imagine that the joy of like having a complete masterpiece is worth the effort. I really ought to learn from those artists and a bunch of other people too. Yeah, I'm trying not. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'm trying not to go for the goal, but like I'm. 
Also trying to avoid the ninjas. <laughs> it's saying something when uh when like even the developers of the game are game is like backseating me. Ugh. Alright, alright, that I will admit that was actually kind of dumb. Oh pff, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> I <laughs> Okay. I understand. I understand completely now. I am Okay, well I'm I realize I now I understand what you are getting at. I am stupid. Without realizing that I can just do I can just skip that. I don't have I don't have to go for the goal at the bottom. But hold on, no, no, what am I doing? Uh yeah, it's all right. Like, I, I'm a bit weird when it comes to backseating. Like, cause like, it's like, uh, it's like I say, I generally say no backseating, but like, there are times in which like, if I get stuck, then uh, I'm actually, I actually don't really care for if you backseat. And there will come a point in which I will straight up ask for help. Like, uh, how do I, how do I, how do I dodge? How do I do this and that? Yeah, I'm just gonna, oops. I'm just gonna beat this level in a jiffy. Oof. What? How? Ugh. How did I survive that? I don't know. I was so surprised that I almost choked on my spit. Hello, Jab Zero. Oof. Okay. Let's. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Let's beat the intro levels because I want to unlock. Some, ooh. I also got a new little strawberry theme. That's nice. Also, I just realized that the that the these squares are the new new gold pieces. It kind of kind of does throw me off when uh when the level changes, but like certain things are not are like a different color. No, let's let's try that again. Yeah, no worries, MetaNet software. Hold on a minute. There we are. Gotta be a bit more patient. Maybe I could, I could, uh, I could, uh, be dumb about the way I go about physics. Let's see. How are you, Jab Zero? You met, uh, MetaNet Software is the developer of this game. Uh, by the way, so say hi, say hi, say hi to MetaNet for me. A big warm welcome to MetaNet, or Meta, MetaNet, Meta, MetaNet, I, whoopsies. Speaking of MetaNet, the first, first Smash Brothers game that I, uh, that I played was Smash Brothers Brawl. It was a lot of people's first Smash game because it was on the Wii and we and the Wii was insanely popular back then. Wait, did I did I miss gold? Uh, you can change color when it pink. Pink gold is definitely controversial. Uh, I know that is is it is it Rygon hiding in front of PC? Ooh, whoopsies. I don't know what Rygon is, unless they're trying to do a D's nuts joke. Like Rygon D's. No, no, no. Let's be tasteful. There's a, there's like an official, there's official staff uh, in my stream. I don't want to, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like that. God, God, funny D's. Oops, I'm. Oh, your name. <laughs> Oh, I'm. I, I, I just I apologize for that. I really, I'm. I am incredibly dense and stupid. I did. I thought I was. Okay, I actually feel really bad about that. Uh, Rygon. I apologize. Sorry. I am. Well, yeah. Uh, 
I'm I'm actually not I am not very proud of that. Ugh. I did not know that was your official name. I didn't like I wasn't really I didn't really follow the N series. So yeah, I didn't I I wasn't really aware of like names and such. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let's let's continue on. I'm actually I'm actually struggling a little bit and uh, this intro area. <laughs> the intro ear is easy, but then I proceed to die five times in a row. Oh, okay. Well, that was definitely easy. Just a fair warning, I can be really dense when it comes to certain things, be it like the most obvious answers to a puzzle or like like a name or like random names or bits of lore. Uh, and, I, and I end up being, I end up looking unironically stupid because of it. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, hey, this switch is right here. Why aren't you hitting this switch? Oh no, I'm, well, it's because I am, I, I believe I've said this before, but I am what you call washed up. Real names so rarely come up unexpectedly in Twitch chats as your attempt as your that your attempt to understand as a more common scene joke stuff is fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean if it, I mean if it but then again, this is the developer we're talking about, so like it actually feels kind of awkward not knowing not knowing his like name like that's not it's like not knowing who toby fox is as like toby d's nuts eh? okay i'll stop that i said no more d's nuts jokes and then i went ahead and did that also i the smoke looks really pretty in this in this uh color scheme <laughs> all right well that was that was me having a brave part like I, I actually looks like a really cool modern pattern it's like making a bunch of flowers well this game is 2d i can in general yeah yeah i know but like i didn't i know uh, i didn't think it would be like go a step beyond I know that there are these other themes. Uh, no. Retro. Ugh. Nice dark mode. Uh, press the suicide button to I see. Ha 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 ha. Oh, wow. I actually need to, like... Hmm. Wait a minute. You fell for the MetaNet trap, Kappa. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's understandable. Wait, can I can I not? Wait. Wait. Yeah, I think we've all been there. Like we listen to System of a Down, but we don't know who, we don't know the guitarist of that of that band. Uh, yeah. Uh, sh how do I? What? Okay, I'll I'll figure this out later. For now, I just want to get the headband. Interesting. Ball jump. Like, you yeah, know, you're not gonna bait me into jumping on the ball. I've been there, done that. Expert to get. Hmm. We'll see about that. 
We shall see. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, I see. You hit it and then it disappears and jumps. Uh, wait, did I not hit the switch? Yeah, I need to, like, uh... Wait a minute. Oh, I see it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, do I have to restart? No. We'll see if I can get all the... Golden stuff. See if I can get this and that. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Speaking of gold. Uh, let's see. Jump and then... Oh. Oh, wait, no. I, I'm smart. I figured it out. The Wumpy. You can, except you can actually stand on them, like in Super Mario 64. There we are. There we are. The gears are grinding. Uh oh. No. No. No, you don't. What's this? Wait, what's this, uh. What's this dot? Ah. Just a little bit of convenience. <laughs> okay. We did it! Yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep going. There's still plenty of time before I have to go my appointments and all. Ah, la la di da di da. Say do you remember? The artisan of the second. <laughs> Descend into face first into the spiky ball. Okay, that's that. And then temporary platform, yeah. Don't worry. Like this. Clicks with me right away. Da, 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 da. The one elevator that every YouTuber. One elevator music that every YouTuber use, uses. Uh. <sighs> I was really close. Gotting it there. But yeah, look at that. All gold. I'm, ooh, I'm rewarded with more gold. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, I was like, duh. I wonder how many 2D parkour games there are out there. Like, I know... I know there are a couple of 3D ones, like uh, like Mirror's Edge and Hot Lava. Shh. <laughs> but hmm, I don't know about 2D. And I, yeah, I I I I love Mirror's Edge. I have Mirror's Edge. I'm playing. I'm playing it at some point. Maybe not, maybe not in the near future, but yeah, like it was, like it was really, it was absolutely huge back in the day. So I'm, so I'm wondering if it's like, if it still lives up to the hype. Whoosh, nope. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try. That. I even got a tattoo. Ooh, really nice. <laughs> Must be. That's got. That's gotta be good then. Ah, uh, gotcha. And, uh, what else? Oh yeah, uh, I, I, bought, I bought a few games for this, for Black Friday, and, or rather for this Steam auto sale, or autumn sale, not auto sale. It's gonna automatically take my money and, and put it, put stuff in my library for me. But no, uh, I bought, what's it called? I bought a game that was that's heavily inspired or based off of Ninja Gaiden, the original Ninja Gaiden for the NES. 
Uh, I believe it's called The Descendant. It looked really it looked really cool, complete with 8-bit graphics and music. I had no idea how I didn't hear of that until now. And it was on sale, so I bought it. And I really like the Ninja Gaiden. It's, it's of course in Ninja Gaiden, the Ninja Gaiden is insanely hard. It always has been insanely hard, be it the classic games or the modern games even. But uh, I like it. I beat I beat the original Ninja Gaiden without save states, by the way, because I uh, am a am a bit of a masochist. A what? Oh, okay. I <laughs> wait. Okay. No. 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 Uh, retry. Wait. What? Wait. What? Hold on. Okay, so one of the doors is hidden within the... I see. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Actually, I'll take a look at it now. Just because. Hmm. I think... No. Ah. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right, sorry if, I, if sorry if I'm like doing a really bad job at showing off my enthusiasm, but uh oh oh I see. But like when I say, but I I am I'm whenever I say something, I am usually pretty genuine about it, unless I'm unless it's like a clear joke. Oh oh fine, I'm just gonna leave. Oh yeah, that's a that's a pretty cool tattoo. Really nice. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't really like I'm not I'm not someone who often shows his emotions. So, but like I also want, would like to show my emotions just so I can like drive home that I'm being genuine about it. Like, like uh, I don't want to be like, oh, hey, that's a that's a very nice tattoo, yeah. Yeah, not like that. Although I guess, I don't know, maybe, I guess there is, people are able to express gen, like, excitement despite having a monotone voice. But, hmm. This is what I have chosen to sound like. The same design Faith has, just more tuned to my passion. Ah, I see. Faith is... Wait, isn't Faith the main protagonist of Mirror's Edge? Also, there was, an, there was a second Mirror's Edge that came out fairly recently. Like in 2018. Yes. Alright, yeah, I got that correct then. How... Did you play... What was that called? Mirror's Edge something. Did you play the newer Mirror's Edge game and how was it? I played both. Like I heard that like from what I've seen briefly, the the new Mirror's Edge was not as good as the original, but still pretty good. Like I saw I saw the ad and I was like, "Wow, this looks like this looks like every other blockbuster ad. So, so I was like, hmm. Oh man, I, I could do that. All right, fine. I'll one more try. No, no, one more try. One more try in this uh, golden landscape. Uh huh. I like the mechanics more than the original. Felt more natural in terms of movement story-wise. I'm not one to judge. I like both. I see. Well, I'll have to take a look at that. I'll have to play that and see for myself then. Like I played Hot Lava and I was like, I kind of want to play. I played Hot Lava a, a month or so ago and I was like, I actually want to play Mirror's Edge now because this parkour gameplay is actually pretty cool. De Dexterity calibration apparatus. That's second. Oh, my stomach is growling. 
my, my, uh, let's just say that I really should not have a, an empty stomach. Let's see. Yeah, never mind. Let's let's just let's just finish this round of levels and then uh, see if we get a new color scheme or like if we don't get a new color scheme, I'm gonna change it to something else. Pose. Ooh. Ah. Let's see. B Bordeaux. Clean. Dorado. Evening. Hot. M. Oceanographer, Retro, Vasquez, Wizard. Wait, aren't there more? Uh, or... No. Where's the original thing? Ow. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go with uh, the one we just got. Bordeaux. Sounds like a mul Sounds like a Pepperidge Farm cookie. Actually, it is a Pepperidge Farm cookie, isn't it? Bordeaux. We should tell colors. He follows Vasquez. All right. Yeah. I gotcha. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Which one's the original? Missiles. Uh, and yeah, I know that I'm taking this a little slow. I'm not like doing this looking like a speedrunner pro gamer, but this is my first time playing this game, and I prefer to be more careful than than uh. I prefer I prefer to be safer than sorry. Yes, slow but deliberate. Oh wait, I'm. I'm uh I'm a I'm a dum dum. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Blat. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. I know what to do. Go over here first. Don't 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 slam myself in the wall. I think you can also slam and you can slam yourself in the wall too, if I'm not mistaken. Let, let, let me test. Okay. Uh, I guess I didn't slam my wall myself in the wall there. Whatever, let's go back. Physics! Snap. I wish I could snap my fingers. Oh boy. Oh, it go- okay, it goes up and down, I see. Money. Money. Money! I love seeing new players come and try this. It's such a great game. But so under pop. Yeah. It's like a quintessential ending game, and yet I don't really see a lot of people play. It's like, it's like, I see that I, this is like a really good streamer game because it's like, like you can get the, the epic rages and, uh, and, uh, you can also do some pretty cool stuff with it, and like, like it's actually it's, it's pretty fun to watch people try to figure it out. Oops, I saw that, and yet I didn't do anything. I'm honestly surprised that this, that this like not a lot of people know about this. We're running the same level for the same for eight hours. Yeah, there's the, uh oh. Fudge. All right, fine. I'm just gonna. All right, I'm. I'm just gonna move on. Oh, I'm also gonna be a little hasty. Or oh my gosh, dude. Fine, I'll be patient. I'm for my hide into my bunker. <coughs> It's like, you think that this would be like... Uh, 
To me, this is like among the ranks of Super Meat Boy. And Super Meat Boy has an em has an emote on. Oh wow. Okay, I see what these are. What these things are all about. See, Super Meat Boy has an emote on Twitch, and yet I, yeah, no one seems to talk about it these days or play it. Ow. Okay, you guys are gonna be very annoying. Well, there's also like a uh, what was it? There's there's also a new uh, Super Meat Boy game. It was like a it was like an a runner game, as opposed to a platformer. Hmm. Oh hey, I mean hey, whatever whatever they want to do. Not my, not my job to tell them that they have to make this game. Oh, I can get it. I can get this. I can get this white gold, the platinum. Yay. Uh, one more. What? Just one more round of levels. Air control tower. They definitely do look like air control towers, actually. Oscillator that looks like a bullet. Just one more. Just one more episode. Just one more round. Going back to my days of playing Civ 5. <laughs> patience, patience, and patience, Skywalker. Come on. Mmm! Patience you must have! Or this beam of dark side consume you it will! Uh, wait, what? Ride or die? Alright, well this is... I like, really... Oh, I actually do have to, like, run. Wait, can I just keep on running? Yeah. Whoa, okay. This is a little... awkward. But I did- I- I missed the switch. It was, like, the hundredth time I missed a very obvious switch, and it's, like... It's- it's, like, kind of torturing even me. Oh, I'm- I slammed. No, oh, hold on. Momentum. Not high enough. Not high enough. No. What? I, hold on. Let me uh do this. Oh, fine. I'll. We'll see how that goes. Probably, it's probably. I think I definitely. I think I really should have gotten all the gold so I can like properly learn about making the most out of my jumps. But meh. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Shoot, like, I, I don't know what else to say. I really shouldn't be saying that, but... Great game. Seriously. Hard, difficult game, but really solid. How the... Alright, I, I don't even want to go for that goal. That's, that's like, a nightmare. Well, that was already it. Uh... <sighs> and I wasn't lying when I said just one more. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, thank you very much, uh, MetaNet Software, thank you very much, what's his name again? Uh, thank you very much, Rygon, for tuning into this stream. Thank you everyone for joining in, and, uh, yeah, I, I know this is a pretty short stream, but I, like I actually am, I actually do have a bunch of stuff to do 
for the rest of the night. So uh, yeah, thank you, Jab. Thank you, Jab Zero. Thank you, James. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, who else came? Thank you, DS, and everyone. Yeah. Uh, this is Omega Nate signing out. I will see you guys on Sunday for... I forgot what I was going to play on Sunday. It's just like on uh, Wednesday, in which I forgot what I was going to play today. I'm going to be playing Thief Gold Edition on Sunday. The original old school Thief. See you guys. With that said, see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good night. Oh, also, uh, thank you for the follow, jo Job Zero and Metanet Software. What? Oh, I, I, all right, I, don't, I didn't see Metanet follow, but me, but thank you for the follows. Seriously, that's it means a lot to me. But also, I, I really have to go see it. See it.